like the theme song from Hill Street Blues. This is real, this is Hill Street News. How he gone and left his mom's mind struck. And now his brother not giving... Yeah, yeah, it's your boy d Bell, d Bailey Productions, worldwide exclusive. I got QB Finest, my man Big Noy in the building. What up, what up? I3 is also in the building. Shout out to them. You already know what it is, man. So I got to talk to you about this Koch Records thing, man. You got the new album, Illustrious, coming. No doubt. What made you decide to go into the platform of Koch Records, man? I mean, you know my people are really affiliated with them. ALC, Alchemist, uh, Prodigy, you know, he dropped Return of the Mac. So it's just like, you know, and you know, it's like Noid Inc., my own label, being distributed by Koch. Okay. So it's a good platform. I asked Pete, I asked him how they treat you up there, you know what I mean, did my homework. And it seemed like a good look to go, you know what I mean? And um, I had affiliation with some A&Rs up there that I have worked with in the past on um, Land Speed Records. So it, it seemed like a good look, so I gave it a try. No doubt, no doubt. Now, when it comes to the production, Lil Fame got some heat, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. But but who else? You got, you got Havoc doing some beats on the we album? We got Havoc well? on the album, man. We got um, Street Radio. There was some dudes that was coming up. The Ellis, one of the Ellis producers I'm working with right now is my man Rick Rude. Okay. Crazy with it out in Queens, you know what I mean? And um, we got my man Sab. Okay. He also worked there. He did a couple of joints on one of my old projects. And um, that's about it right there for us production wise. No doubt, no doubt. Is there any special features on the album that we should be looking out for? Well, I got the single out right now called Things Done Change, and that's okay. featuring Kara. She's an up and, uh, up and coming um, R&B singer. Okay. She's nice with it, she blows. And um, I got my man Joel Ortiz on there. You know, uh, Joel is fire. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's my dude. That joint that was on Brooklyn. Joel Ortiz's album. Which right, you right. I, I did a drink with him on his album. He did a drink with my album. And real keeping hip hop alive. You know what I mean? That's what it is. That's what it is. Now, we talk about New York rap, you know what I'm saying? They say hip hop is dead, but I really don't believe that, man. But I got an actual question. Does everybody always say that Queensbridge has some of the illest MCs out? Do you ever think we'll see like a Queensbridge minus reunion, like cats coming together to, to do something? I think, I mean, I only can speak for me, you know what I mean? And if it ever came across, I'd definitely be with it, you know what yeah. I mean? Right now, you know, I've been, I've been getting phone calls from Mega, you know what I mean? My man um, Capone, yeah. you know, more recent than I than I used to, you know what I mean? So right. it seemed like something is coming up. It's, it seemed like something is bubbling in the pot right now, yeah. where the whole hood might be coming back together and doing something, but it ain't really nothing, that, you know, ain't written in blood yet, you know what I mean? But that'll be a good look, I'll tell you that. Word, right, you know, because y'all definitely came out with the underground gutter classics, man, and this is one of my favorite albums of all time. No doubt. I gotta state that. No doubt. Now, talking more about the album, man, um, give me a song that, that's on the album that you think would definitely give people some more insight to who Big Noid is, man. Like, the fans, they want to get to know the artists more well nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Right. Get, we'll talk about a song on the album that you wrote that would definitely get a fan some insight. Well, I, I, got, I got this, you saying that I got this joint on the album called Posted on the Block. Okay. And that one right there just definitely de defines who I am, like where I come from. I'm straight from the gutter, you know what I mean? QB's finest, you know what I mean? So it, it's posted on the block, it's just for my thuns that's like still struggling, you know what I mean? Still going through it, and I'm holding it down for them, you know what I mean? Like, they don't rap, so that I'm speaking the words for them, you know what I mean? And, that, and that's who we are. Until we up out that ghetto, we posted on the block, like what? You know what yeah, I mean? Okay. Keep it a gutty, you know what yeah. I mean? I can dig that, man. Now, another thing that I'm, I'm happy to see, like, a lot of MCs is going into their more entrepreneurial perspective outside of rap, you know what I'm saying? And that's something that's definitely bringing a lot of cats out there, which is a good thing. Right. Um, you know, you want to talk a little bit more about some things that you're venturing on the outside, you know what I'm saying, as far as with well, Noid Incorporated and whatnot. Well, you know, like, you know, we did Murder Music, the movie and shit. That was my first acting role. Right. And anything else come, you know, that shows itself, I'm definitely going to jump on it. Okay. That's one thing I'm looking to, some more scripts, you know what I mean? And um, I just built my own studio out in Queens, right. so that's a good thing, you know what I mean? Definitely. And um, I, 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 um, producers that I mess with, like my man Rick Rude that I mentioned earlier, right. we trying to get him out there where like using my connects that I got in the game, right. I know Ghost, I know Little Fame, right. you know what I mean? I know Raekwon, and get some of his beats to them type of artists, Definitely. and then and then bring up bring it up on our label, you know what I mean? No, and can take it off the ground to the top. No doubt, man. That's that's, oh. that's always good to hear. Now we know my man Prodigy is about to. Uh, going through some time right now like what's i mean i know the camp is going to hold him down regardless of whatever goes down but like what's the feeling right now it's cast like i mean we we trying we not trying to you know dread on it you know what i mean we trying to like make every day a party day okay. you know what i mean like he's just shot like no exaggeration like maybe 10 to 15 videos mm -hmm. you know what i mean so it's like we, even though that's work but we right. using it as this is our time to for us to be together and be with py you know why he get in there and p is a strong dude so he when he get in he gonna be out he gonna hold it down you know what I mean? And hopefully, 
you know, him being in there, you got to take some positive out of it. So right, right. some, some, some hopefully him eating well or like, you know, just getting his proper rest, and, you know, yeah. not being in the streets, drinking and smoking, True. he come out a better dude. But that's my, P gonna hold it down. You already know, done. Free P, yo. Word up, Vaughan free P, yo. yo. Shout out to you, Come in your town, no make sure you come out, check out Rapid Noise, man, because I'm killing the shows. That's what yeah. I do, check you know? Check out my man, Big Noise, he's a pioneer in the game with the gutter street rap. Don't ever get it twisted, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy, D-Bell, my man, Big Noise. No Illustrious doubt. is in store, January 22nd. No Seven doubt. Copy. Illustrious, rapping on QB, where you at, stand up. Yeah. Rel, Brooklyn, where you at, bang, bang. You know, it's what we do. Definitely, y'all. Shout out to Super Producer Mike Sissy and my man, Sean Rock, Cox Records. You know what I'm saying? Love is love. Appreciate it. I'm going to holler at y'all. Detail. 100. Look, man. No doubt, my bro. Appreciate it, man.